Kyle, Dimitri is here, and in this video we will test batteries from USK store. They offer rechargeables and normal alkalines. And as you can see, the package is very cheap for both rechargeables and normal alkalines. It's just yellowish paper and just uh, one color polygraphy. But who cares? We're interested about contents, not about packaging. So let's test. Uh, I think let's test normal alkalines first and then switch to rechargeables. Let's take a look what do we have here. Here is the raw data for used alkalines. I will not comment this. Please put the video on pause and take a look in case if you are interested. Okay, and now it's time for rechargeables. Uh, the capacity that they offer is uh, quite good, 2400 mAh, I don't see something like low self-discharge here, so let's first uh, check how many energy we have uh, off the shelf, and then I will recharge them and test again. Let's go and take a look. Let's take a look at the results that we have uh, from USK uh, battery tests. As usually, here you have capacity compression graph, here we have uh, energy compression graph. So let's take a look what do we see here. First moment that I want to notice that uh, here USK rechargeables OTS it's uh, off the shelf. It's uh, how it was, how they was. Uh, just when I bought them, and as you can see, capacity that have they had is really low. So they clearly not low self discharge uh, batteries. It's normal ones, may maybe obsolete ones. I'm not sure if we can talk like that, but clearly they are not low self discharge. And if you will charge them and put them in the storage, after a while you will find them flat or almost flat. Other moment that I want to show here is uh, please take a look at the capacities and energies rechargeable versus alkaline. Uh, as usually, uh, maybe not as usually, like we saw sometimes before, at 0 0.1 amp at low current, alkaline provides slightly better energy, slightly better capacity than rechargeable, but uh, as you already know, capacity and energy is not uh, all characteristics, so we cannot tell here that uh, alkaline is always better at low current, but at higher currents, even at uh, 200 milliamps, you see that uh, alkaline begin to lose characteristics, while rechargeable feel uh, normal, feel, feels maybe <laughs> feels good with uh, higher currents, I don't know if we can say it like that. Uh, and it looks like characteristics of different cells in uh, pack slightly different because with uh, 0 0.2 amp we have capacity slightly lower than 2000 milliamp hours but with 0 0.5 amp it was different cell capacity a bit higher so it looks like uh, quality of the cells is not constant some cells are better some cells are a bit worse and they are not self discharged so I I think it's not best rechargeables that you can get. So let's take a look at the internal resistance comparison. And here we can see that uh, alkaline have slightly bigger internal resistance that we saw before with different alkalines. So it's not uh, it's not a good cell actually. It's it's just normal average normal alkaline. Nothing special here. And with the rechargeable one, we have uh, quite low internal resistance. So, from this point of view, I think rechargeables are good. So, what is the conclusions? If you have uh, some load that will work for really prolonged time, for example, well clock, something like that, you should buy clients and forgot for one year or so. If you have uh, some something that needs to change batteries uh, one time per month, maybe two time 
spare mounts I recommend you to buy rechargeables but probably not use quants just because they have really high self discharge so what do we see here it's just normal average alkalines and not perfect rechargeables they cheap but they not perfect so nothing special here actually thank you for watching and bye bye